All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be answering Sergio Caballero's question. So he says, hello, Esteban. Thank you for doing this. I have a newbie question. When you say kill an ad set, do you mean just delete the ad or just pause it? If it is delete, when and why would you pause an ad? Thank you. Okay, Sergio, that's a great question. So when I mention, when I say you should kill an ad set, it's basically just pausing it. So turning it off. I regularly never just, I never regularly delete them. I like to keep them to see the stats, the previous stats, because if I kill an ad set, which means pausing it, I can then compare it to the ones that were performing better or to the ones that were performing worse. So I have an idea of the metrics that I'm having for my campaign. So when I mean kill it, it means just simply to pause it. Now, um, that's at the ad set level. I never really play with the ad level at the ad level. If I if you if if you pause the ad set level, you're gonna immediately pause the ad because the the ad is inside the ad set and the ad set is inside the campaign level. So if you turn off the campaign, you turn everything inside the campaign off. If you turn off something on the ad set, you turn the ads on the ad set off at the same time. So you don't need to do both. Now, um, he says if it is delete, when and why will you pause an ad? So. Like I said, I regularly, I never really delete them. Um, so when would I pause an ad? So like I've, I've said in my previous videos, there are two main things when running a campaign that you gotta analyze. That's your return on investment and your cost per lead or cost per sale. So when I pause an ad, it's because either my cost per sale is too high or my cost per lead is too high. So how do I measure this? Basically, I run each ad set until Regularly when it spends $10 per ad set, I run typically four ads per campaign. When they spend $10, um, I have an idea of if it's gonna work, if it's not, because you can see if you get like a couple of sales, a couple of, of leads when ten, with $10, there's something going on over there, it's working. If you get zero leads, zero sales, obviously it's not working. Because regularly, at least for the niches I work with, cost per sales are around three, four dollars, five, cost per leads the same, two, three, four. So I know if I'm not getting any leads with $10, it's just it's not it's just not gonna magically start working, you know. So $10, $15 is a metric I like to use. Um, if the cost per sale is too high, I'll pause it. I'll kill it. Same thing. If the cost per lead is too high, I'll kill it. If the return investment is not there, then I'll kill it as well. So Sergio, you're looking for assets that have a low cost per sale. And it really is, it's not about the low cost per sale or the low cost per lead, but typically when you have qualified leads at a cheap price and you're able to convert them, you're gonna have a high return investment. So number one is always look about return investment. If your cost per sale or cost per lead is high, but the return investment is great, then it really doesn't matter, you know, because you're here to make money. Um, don't fall into the trap of, of thinking about why is my cost per click too high? Why is my CPM too high? Um, whatever, click through rate, those those stats are great, but at the end of the day, it's all about making money. Um, so Sergio, that's a great question. Um, if your ads are not performing the way you're expecting them to perform according to your goals, just pause them and um, leave the ones that are profitable, the ones that are working for you, for your standards and goals, and then kill the ones that are not working. So um, yeah, keep it simple, Sergio. Look at the return investment, the cost per sale, cost per lead, and you'll be rocking it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.